Okay, like I was saying, got my package. I'm gonna open her up here. Throw you guys on the tripod. And you can see what I got. Okay, be right back. Oh, one thing I wanted to say. So this came from Summit. The reason I ordered through Summit is their shipping policy for parts to Canada. <clears throat> I believe it's over $300. I'm not sponsored by them, so, but this is a good option where Speedway doesn't really offer it. They cover the shipping other than the duty. So, but that's a huge, huge bonus when you're shipping stuff to Canada. Because in the past, I've had shipping shipping kerfuffles and everything else. Basically double the cost of whatever I was buying. So, try to out here. So let's set up as we do. See what I ordered. I haven't opened it yet. I just split it open so it could be easy to. What this is. This is my brake clutch setup. So, ah, here's all the paperwork. So the box in a box, which seems to be a normal procedure. <clears throat> oh, it's handshake guarantee. Questions about your order? Yeah. Yeah. I don't need some Yeah. 404 bucks. Other charge is $4. Country destination, Canada. So, yeah, 404 US, which is about. Are these available somewhere like eBay for cheaper? Yes. But the cost of shipping from eBay would have made it more. You could have got the same thing for like 300 US or similar product. I don't really care how what who makes it. As long as it would do what I need. This is my clutch and brake pedal. Hydraulic setup. Hydraulic on the clutch, hydraulic on the brakes. The shipping was going to be 150 US from eBay, anywhere from $85 to 150 US to ship it here. That negates any savings. And then I'm dealing with Summit, which are a big company, and they're known. And lately, really, they've really been supporting hot rodding and racing community. I don't know, they back the people that buy their stuff. I like Speedway. I always have liked Speedway. But they need to step up their game in the shipping department. Because Summit doesn't carry everything hot rod related, and neither does Speedway. I would certainly buy, probably buy more from Speedway. Than, I mean, I bought lots from Speedway, but <clears throat> there's always issues with shipping costs and brokerage fees because they'll ship through UPS and then UPS are bandits. It's not Speedway's fault. That's who they deal with with their shipping, which is probably fine in the US. But as soon as you got crossing the imaginary line in the sand, I'm not even that far from Speedway's headquarters, really. Anyway, let's get into the product here. Full pack with paper. I appreciate that it's not peanuts. Thank you. Oh, it's all the pieces. Okay, a wrap of paper here. Oh, yeah. Pieces. 
with this, we got it mounted in the car. This is a huge step for moving forward with the T project. Because, oh, there's the slave cylinder for the clutch. It's a Willwood. See it in the, and it's quality pieces. Some of the eBay stuff you're getting whatever it could be a master cylinder from a Daiwu wacky wagon or whatever you don't know that's my piece <clears throat> made in the USA I like that with recent developments and uh, well, I don't want to get political but Chinese involvement in our elections I'd like to give them as little as possible of my moolah. And there's also that kind of you know, companies with, you know, it's a kit, but here it is, there's quality components. Willwood, that's the master cylinder for the clutch. Okay, yeah, I'm building a 60 style hot rod. That doesn't mean I have to cobble together crap either. Not when it comes to my clutch and brakes. I want stuff to function. I believe you can, uh, <clears throat> this is stuff that's hiding under the car anyway. Nice Willwood stickers. So this is all stuff Owen installation instructions, so I'll keep all that. Close the bag with the slaves on there. But I'm a believer that you can run up-to-date components when it comes to the braking and stuff. Yes, I'm still going drums in the front because this car is going to be about 1,500 to 1,800 pounds. Even on my 35, 3600 pound Pontiac. I run manual drums on it. Drive accordingly. Alright? Don't drive it like it's your Honda Odyssey van that you used to pick up the kids with. It ain't. Alright? That's all you have to do. Drive accordingly. Oh, here's the pedals. I mean, this is all. You know, these are. Nice. Holy cow. Damn, down there. Look at that. Look at the bronze bushings in them already. Open the camera. Yeah. Set up for the four pedal pads. It's going to look like 39 pedals? No. Does it have to? No, it just has to work. No one. The only people that are going to notice are nerds like myself anyway, so... There. And it's clearance for a column, but... I don't know if that's how I'm going to run the column. Oh. And this is the bracket for the frame. Oh, and the install instructions. Like a universal fit bracket. This is supposed to fit on a Model A frame. Hardware. Nice hind joint style ends. I like that. And a clevis. So you're adjustable. On pedals. This bracket does. Huh? Quality. It's quality. It's not. Like. So, the face rearward and that hooks into the frame somehow. I'm sure we'll here open the instructions and see. This is Pete and Jake's. I know they 
long hand oil screw and stuff. Yeah, there we go. That bracket is Yeah, see my mounting location must be changed for stock floor because right? this is designed to go in a Model A. I have a Model A frame, but because of the suicide front end and shortening the back end and the location of a T body, I may be modifying where it's mounted. But yeah, there's a driver's side frame rail, two inches from the top. Just from the top of the frame rail. Simple. Burn it in. Just like that. Oh, yeah. hmm. Put a slot for me? Weird. Oh good, those quality pieces. Well honestly some of the equivalents on eBay weren't didn't look so good. Like I said, components used not equal to components supplied with this. Oh look at this. Another mass component. Same as the other one, I don't think. It's very similar. Very cool. Master cylinder. Oh, look, a little bleeder kit. The master cylinder. Manual. Brakes is the option I chose. I don't need a Brake booster taking up space. I simply do not have. I think. Okay. See what you will know is no sticker from Steve. I got a sticker from someone. I believe this ended up coming straight from. which has been a company that's been around forever. You know, these guys are really the oh. Willwood Slave Song Instructions. We'll figure out the components back in the box within all the paper. So that is, like I said, going to move this project along quite nicely. I'm going to go back in the box, all these papers. And they set stickers, who knows? Hit miss. Sometimes we do, sometimes at all. But I think this is like, a, like I said, it's just from Pete and Jake's to their warehouse to all this roll with stuff I'm going to put in this one bag. 
with the sleeves on there because that's the instructions for the sleeves. So somehow I ended up on the floor. I'm going to pack this stuff up for some different level of genius, too. Because you never get the stuff back in the box. It's the lid calls. Not me, anyway. So, yeah. I'm excited about that. Let's me get moving on this project. This is just a quick little update video because I was waiting for that to be able to move on. Yeah, it solves a lot of problems, even if I have to screw around with the location of it. Frame's got boxing plates, I'll have to cut my nose. I didn't put it down. I was done before. But I gotta run back to work here, it's my last day off, so... Head back to work for a bit, and when I get back, I can get back on it. So... Thanks for watching. So far I'm happy with this. We'll cover the installation of this going forward. And like I said, it's gonna, it solves my issue of what I'm doing. Either way. So, this is, That says it's it's a pull type, so what does this we anchor this and it pulls? It's supposed to clutch fork. This mounts to a bracket. It's easy. Bracket on the trans or something. Like that. So you want to go like this. swing as it goes through the arc of the clutch fork. Huh, kind of cool. Let's adjust it here. Oh, quite a bit. Oh, yep. I'll throw pieces on the floor and lose them. And anyway, before we get playing with this too much and lose parts, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See my subscriber count kind of stagnated here for a bit. It kind of went up and down, but just by a couple of subs, it's kind of odd. But I don't understand YouTube and how to get subscribers. It just doesn't make sense. I think I just got to be more consistent with my video output. So that's why I'm doing this too. Anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will be continuing on this tea build here. And this piece will really move it along. <laughs>